What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video today we are going to be talking about Super Mario Bros. Wonder. We're nearly two months away from the game and Gamescom is com coming soon, maybe we'll get info, cope. But, in the, if we have to wait till next month pretty much for more info on this game, there's probably still more we gotta figure out. So today, I'm gonna be talking about my final predictions for Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Let's go ahead and get this started. Man, it feels so weird to say that. After after the no new soup logo, <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, first off is the plot. Well, I can't really predict the plot. It's because it seems like Bowser. Seems like Bowser does have his tricks up his sleeve. I can't really give a much prediction on that. But uh, some people do speculate if there's going to be a different villain this time. To be honest, I won't get my hopes up for that. Honestly, as cool as it would be, seems like Bowser will be the villain. But I feel like he'll throw a big shock at the final boss or something. I hope it's really just as cool as New Super Mario Bros. Wii, honestly. But I don't expect that to happen. I just want to hope, hopefully, a nice, fun battle that's very memorable, honestly. But yeah, I'm not getting my hopes up for that. Now, here's a real question that has probably been the biggest talking point. Well, okay, not the biggest, but it's up there. The elephant power-up that we saw in the trailer. Mario transformed into an elephant. Here's the real question. Will other characters have the ability to do this? It seems like... It's hard to tell. Some people are saying they may not have their own transformations and it's limited. It would be weird to limit it just Mario if you are using multiple characters, but it'd be weird to just limit it to just Mario if you don't really feel like playing as Mario since you can play as other characters. So I feel like this probably will be will be a thing for other characters. Now, here's where the controversy starts. It's the yeah characters transform into elephants to be honest i always hear people talk about this is a cursed idea mostly with the mark with peach and daisy and to be honest after seeing like one i'm not gonna show the artwork online it's a bit suggestive but after seeing it i don't think it's cursed it looks cute it seems like people are judging it because of art online or something which is pretty stupid in my opinion <laughs> like that's such a weird thing to complain i get be i get it it's an it's 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 a character transforming into an actual animal rather than a character wearing a costume of that animal but i don't know like it doesn't look it's not that cursed and i could care less about the suggestive art i see because, like, it doesn't really matter. But, yeah. This is mostly a talk for Peach and Daisy. It seems like, oh, yeah, we got... Everyone's worried about Peach and Daisy, but what about Yoshi? <laughs> and then there's also Luigi, which I don't think... His, his is obviously going to be pretty tame if that were to happen. And, of course, we have Toad. So, to be on transformations, I don't want everyone to be elephants, to be honest. I want it to be shocking and surprising for everyone, honestly. Just to see the reactions. If your first reaction is, oh, my God, here comes the suggestive art. You need to get off the internet, I'm telling you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, moving on. Oh, give me one second. All right, now, let's talk about new characters. Now, this is a topic that seems to be... Now, this is the biggest talking point. Will there be extra characters? Okay, it's not... I haven't really been seeing it as much as, like, other titles, but... To be honest, I'm not getting my hopes up for new characters. It seems like it might be just these six characters. If I've learned from the past with Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, Mario Strikers Battle League, at least in the base game, and Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope in terms of Mario characters, seems like they never add characters, I predict. And it's happened three times already! Three times already! So I'm not getting my hopes up again. I'm just gonna do this just for fun, and that's it. I'm not gonna make this like a- Oh, this character will definitely get at it. But I'm gonna rate everyone's chances of being playable in Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Whether if it isn't the secret character, like something at the end of Mario Bros. Wonder, or maybe there's extra stuff down the line. Who knows, honestly. So, yeah, let's just go and get this started. So, here we go. First character I'm going to talk about right now is probably my most wanted. It's no other than my favorite character of all time, Rosalina. You thought I was going to say Donkey Kong? Yeah, we'll get to that later. So, Rosalina is my most wanted to appear in this game. Do I expect it to happen? Probably not. I'm not sure if Nintendo... Seem people say it's because of Daisy getting all the spotlight or whatever, and they probably... Rosalina will get the spotlight instead if she was added. I don't know about that. Both Rosalina and Daisy have fans for different reasons. I get Rosalina has been in more stuff than Daisy, but... I don't think it would be an issue. Maybe including two princesses, my spin-offs. I don't know. Would that really be a problem at all? I don't think so. I don't like Rosalie and Peach have been playable in the same game, 3D World, so I don't know if it'd be an issue at all. So eh, I don't know. Regardless, I want Rosalie the most out of anyone on the list right now, so yeah, I'll give her chances like a 75% chance, probably. I don't know. 
75, not like an 80 right there. I think 75 is pretty good enough, though. All right, next up I'm going to talk about is Wario. Wario is one of my favorite characters, one of my favorite Mario characters, no doubt. But he hasn't really, aside from WarioWare and spinoffs, what happened to him lately? I really want a new Wario Land title, but... I mean, I wouldn't complain if he appears in the mainline Mario games. He was technically in Mario Land 2, and technically there was Super Mario 64 DS. So his chances are kind of not really there. I'm going to give him like a 45% chance. It seems like there's a possible chance, but it's not a high one. It seems like Nintendo never adds him into the mainline Mario titles. And of course, I'm going to have to talk about Wario's friend, brother, I don't know, Waluigi. Yeah, to be honest, he's got no chance. <laughs> as much as I love Waluigi... I don't know if he has a chance. He has yet to be in a, a mainline Mario game. He has yet to be even be in Smash Bros. And yeah, I don't know. His chances are like five percent. I be sh I wouldn't be I wouldn't be against him honestly because I love Waluigi, but I do not expect it to happen. Unfortunately, Waluigi is probably gonna have to be sitting the sidelines again. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Now I will talk about my my favorite character, my other favorite character, Donkey Kong, and I guess I'll throw in Diddy Kong too. Why not? So Donkey Kong. Some people ask me about this idea of Donkey Kong appearing in Mario Bros. Wonder, and while that could be cool, I rather DK gets his own game, honestly, to be honest. Which is probably my biggest fear of him appearing in Mario Bros. Wonder. Because at first I thought it was a good idea, but then I'm like... I don't think the moveset would even translate well, honestly, to be honest. Because he's a big A. You're gonna tell me with a straight face? Like, I get sizes has been so inconsistent, but you're gonna tell me with a straight face? Oh yeah, I can put a big ape next to the princesses. Because apparently, if he's standing straight up, yeah, he's way taller than the princesses. So, yeah. I don't think I can see it working, and I personally... I know it might sound crazy, I don't want this to happen unless Donkey Kong gets a new game in the future. Which, who knows if that's gonna- when that can freaking happen, because I'm still coping. <laughs> so, that's kind of why I don't really want Donkey Kong or Diddy Kong in Mario Bros. Wonder. Hell, Diddy Kong doesn't even show up in mainline Mario games, he's only in spinoffs. Like, give Donkey Kong a chance! <laughs> that's kind of my only reaction. But otherwise, I wouldn't really complain as long as we still get Donkey Kong games. Otherwise, I personally don't want him in Mario Bros. Wonder. I know it might sound crazy, but I don't know. I'd just rather DK get his own title. So I'm going to give both of them like a solid like 10% chance. They're a little more likelier because of the Mario movie popularity and stuff than Waluigi. But at the same time, again, I don't think it would work well either way. And I personally just don't want it to happen. So, yeah. Unless, we can still get Donkey Kong games in the future. Alright, moving on. Now, here's my oddball prediction. Pauline! Why am I predicting Pauline? Well, it's simple. Pauline made a return in Mario Odyssey, and she's just- and she became one of the more popular fan-favorite characters. And, she's appeared in plenty of spin-off games now. If they're trying to make Pauline the mainstay, why not add her to Mario Bros. Wonder? To be honest, this doesn't seem likely, in my opinion, because, like, I don't know. It seems like it- I don't know. This will be the perfect opportunity to finally add Pauline to something else other than just spin-offs. Especially. But otherwise, eh, I don't know. I'm not expecting it to happen, to be honest, but that would be a biggest surprise, honestly. Probably be more hype for, for literally her than anyone I'm listing besides Rosalina. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna give her, like, a 20% chance. You never know, Nintendo's full of surprises, nowadays. And the last character, at least, I'm gonna talk about is Toadette. Toadette's that one character that you see every once in a while, like, yeah, she's pretty cool. That's how I personally view her, I guess. <laughs> I wouldn't be against it, but I don't know, it seems like the least surprising, honestly, because, like, Toadette appears plenty of games, but also at the same time, she kind of hasn't, so I don't know, we'll have to see, but otherwise, and also she was in Mario Bros. U Deluxe with Peach, so I guess it wouldn't be weird, I guess she it wouldn't be that hard, but eh, I don't know, probably like an 80% chance, probably the most likely one out here, honestly, <laughs> so yeah. Alright, now that's that with the characters, um, I don't really want to predict worlds, because it seems like they're going to be taking a different approach with them. But I definitely would love to see more. I definitely want to see more of that stuff. So, yeah. Will there be... Now, here's a real question, actually. Will there be online multiplayer? And I mean online, like, Super Mario 3D Worlds online. The website might confirm it might not happen. Yeah, I know people are probably going to be disappointed with that if it doesn't actually happen. Personally, 
it's not going to affect me because I'm probably going to play the game by myself anyway. I hardly, I even, I, I barely even played Three World with really anyone. So I don't know if this would really affect me personally, but I totally think it should be an option regardless how bad Nintendo's online is. So yeah, I hope it's an option for most people. I personally wouldn't, I'm not going to lose sleep if it's not there and it's not going to really affect me, but I can totally see why people want it. So yeah, let's hope it gets added, but I'm not getting my hopes up for that. All right, and um, I think that's pretty much all my final predictions for Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I'm very, very, very excited for this game. I cannot wait to talk about it more often when we get more info and stuff. It's going to be a very exciting 2D Mario experience. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. What are y'all hopes for Mario Bros. Wonder? Let me know in the comments below. Later, folks. <laughs>